So the reign of Roberto Mancini is at an end. Apparently to the delight of Man City players and backroom staff. Bob, I'm going to start with you on this one. I'll tell you what I love about this. Um, he's leaving. That's it. I, uh, apparently I've been sacked. <laughs> but the great thing is, as, as should happen in these things, you fall, you fall on your sword and you take your generals with you. And David Platt, yes, I'm coming as well. I'm coming with you. I'll, I'll be well. And Brian, Brian Kidd, oh, no, Brian's staying as caretaker. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm all right, lads. <laughs> I just... agree with you about Mancini, though. The scarf. I didn't like the scarf at didn't all. Didn't like the scarf. Didn't no. like the coat. You used to be able to get silk scarves. Do you remember silk scarves in the day? He always, as the manager, I always think you have to either have a, a, a very... Uh, you have to dress like your players. You have to have that sporty look. You have to yeah. go down the tracksuit. I don't uh, like the training, tracksuit look. Training coat look. But I think for a manager, that's good as a coach. Because in, bo in, in baseball, the, the managers, uh, certainly the coaches, they wear a strip as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, but what's ridiculous? In the bench. No, but I think you should either do that or you go down the, the, uh, the Allardyce right. suit route. Yes. What I don't like is this kind of... This is a very expensive coat yeah. and I'm also going to wear a scarf. What I'm going to look like is a lounge singer who supports Manchester City yeah. who <laughs> happens to have wandered into the ground yes. on the day. Yeah. That's the look I'm going to go a little for on the touchline. about Roberto Mancini is he is a lounge singer part-time. He I, does I, do a bit of you're that. Just, you're watching him you, and you, <laughs> what you're not expecting is, you know, a trench and commentary on the state of his team's performance. That, that You're expecting the girl from Ipanema. Yes. Just that's what you're waiting for. I you don't know like... that when he goes in the... You know that when he goes <laughs> In the, in, the, in the dressing room, all he does is a selection of catalogue poses. Yeah. Noticing yeah. some friends on a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoying a pint with Checking some Checking the time. Checking the time. You know that's <laughs> yeah, what he yeah, does. Yeah. But you know what? City, <laughs> don't miss a trick. There's only one man who can possibly fill... Uh, don't, don't worry about Pellegrini. He's not the man for the job. Hey, although he Did is, Did you see the, the glory that is George Jesus? Who? Benfica's manager. Jorge Jesus, Jorge Jesus, who is basically the bastard son of Dennis Law and Rod Stewart. He's got the hair. Have you seen the hair? Yeah. Oh, He's got the hair, slightly yeah. wizened face and the great big hair and prances around like some... Oh, he's wonderful. He's like Louis Spence. Has, has started running a football team. <laughs> he prances around. Phil Spector? And... I think it's the sort of Phil Spector look there. Phil Spector. Yeah. Honestly, God, City get him. But what, what, what all Mancini did was... was to, do you know what he looked like? He looked like a man who had his eye on a quick escape. Yeah. If it all well, goes up, I can, at least I can blend in with the crowd and just be gone here. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Roberto Mancini? Well, I don't know. Uh, we're all wearing coats. What about the idea, the fact that he finished second in the league, runners-up in the FA Cup, and apparently that is nowhere near enough well, for the management? So, well, it's, well it, in that, the amount of money being thrown at it by people that don't know the way the game works. No. There's a reductive, awful view of the way football is being run So football run has changed. I mean, I mean, you've had trouble at West Ham with the Icelandic yeah. connection. Yeah, yeah. And, Our uh, biscuit billionaire. Well, that's why I'm glad that Arsenal is owned by a Walmart, Walmart billionaire and, a, and a, a Uzbek businessman. I think it's very important. People who is really that, connect yeah. with the game. You know? Yeah.